Did you know that installing a home EV charger could save you hundreds in charging costs compared to a public charger? There are tons of EV chargers on the market and the chances are you don't know where to start, who to call, which one to buy and what's involved in the job. In this video you will learn everything that you need to know about installing a home EV charger, making the switch to electric vehicles even more convenient. So you've walked into a car showroom looking for a new car and you've walked out putting a deposit on an electric vehicle, which was not the plan. So many people have told me that this has happened. You've probably received limited information about EV chargers at home from the car salesman. They may have advised you to give a national company a call such as Podpoint, which seems to be a favorite. These companies normally have a commission-based agreement in place, so it's not always the best option. Many EV owners, struggle with the inconvenience of public charging stations, often leading to long waiting times and increased costs. So this is what I advise you do. Have a Google for a local EV installer, such as myself, where we can come and arrange a site visit, take a look at your home setup, explain what's involved, and discuss the best charger for you. You're gonna get a better service from a local installer with a good rep over a national company, because to a national company, you're just a job number. And often the customer service suffers. Before we discuss the EV chargers themselves, I'm gonna take you to one of my jobs where I carried out a survey and show you exactly what's involved. The first thing I'm gonna check is the supply coming into the property, which is this here. I need to ensure that there's no signs of damage or deterioration. And I also need to check to see if you're on what's called a looped supply. If we look at the cable coming into this here, which is called the fuse cutout, we have two conductors. We have a line conductor and a neutral. If at your cutout you have four cables, that would suggest to me that you are in fact on a loop supply. The way a, supply, a loop supply works is the cable will come in from the street into your cutout. And if you have the four conductors, then a cable is coming back out and into your neighbor's property. At this point, we need to notify the DNO to see if we need to get this cable what's called unlooped, which is when that cable is disconnected to your neighbors and a new supply is put in, or if they make the assessment that the installation is suitable still for your EV charger. The next thing I'm gonna check is your gas and your water bonding, which will look like this and this. If these aren't in place, then we need to discuss ensuring that we get these bonded. Next, I'm gonna look at your consumer units, which are these things here. At this property, I have two. The first one here is what I would call fully loaded, which means there's no capacity for an additional circuit. And this one here, which is a relatively new one, unfortunately, the brand of manufacturer that this is, they don't manufacture what's called a double pole RCBO, which is basically an RCD that disconnects the line and neutral conductor. So I can't use either of these. So I'm gonna be looking at installing a separate consumer unit here just for the EV charger. Also here, my client has solar and battery storage. So there is a massive range of EV chargers on the market. And at this one, they have done their own homework and they have picked the charger, which is the Simpson and Partners, which will incorporate with renewable energy. And that's what I'm gonna to install today and I'll show you later. Next, we need to look at the cable route how we're gonna get the cable from the new consumer unit to the EV charging position. This installation is nice and simple. We're simply gonna clip it along this wall. We're gonna go along the front of the garage to the far side pillar, and that is where we're gonna mount it. Some installations are way more involved than this, and you need to appreciate that more time is required and it is gonna be a more expensive installation. The other thing to consider is that these chargers will require an internet connection, whether this is Wi-Fi or hardwired ethernet. At this property, the Wi-Fi, there is a chance that it will not be strong enough. So my client has run a Cat5 cable himself from his router to this point here, where I will join my Cat5 cable to the charger so we have a dedicated hardwired internet supply. A very popular energy supplier is Octopus and they offer a tariff called Octopus Intelligent. Now, in order to gain the benefits from this tariff, you either need to have a compatible EV charger or your vehicle needs to be compatible. If your vehicle is compatible, you have a much broader choice of chargers to choose from. Octopus do offer an installation service, which is likely going to undercut your local installer. But be warned, you do get what you pay for, and I'll let you read between the lines on that one. Other energy providers 
do provide an overnight EV tariff such as OVO and British Gas. Go on their website and see what charges are compatible with them. I don't want to make a list because these are continuously updated and it may not be relevant at the time that you watch this video. So this is the Simpson and Partners charger that I've installed today. It is an untethered unit. It does come as a tethered unit and we've installed a cable hanging bracket here. They needed a longer cable for this one. So they're gonna take their tethered unit and wrap it around there. We've gone back entry to the charger and clip the cable, as you can see, all the way along the ceiling with fire rated clips, which brings us to the core of the installation. Here, what I've done is I've installed a separate consumer unit with a double pole type a rcd there and a surge protection device because we've got a hardwired internet here we have this junction box here where we have all the connections made there and here we have the ct monitoring clamp which is used for load curtailment so despite the impression you may have about how easy this installation is there is a lot involved in it and you need to take that into account when getting an installer around to survey the job once all of this done it's not over yet because what we have to do then is produce your electrical installation certificate. We need to notify the building authority and we also need to notify the DNO if we haven't already for the additional load on the cable in the street supplying the property. in no particular order. The Simpson and Partners. Now this is a great charger and it's available as a tethered or an untethered unit and it's very customizable with excellent customer service. Currently this doesn't integrate with Octopus or Ovo, but if you have a compatible car, this is one that I would recommend. Indra. Now Indra have two chargers to choose from. They have a Home Pro and the Lux. The Pro comes as an untethered and a tethered unit and the Lux is a tethered unit. Indra also incorporates with Ovo and you will get really good customer service with them. The Zappi, now that's a popular charger. This comes as a tethered or an untethered unit available in white or black. It also integrates with Octopus Intelligence and I don't really like saying negative things about companies but I'll be honest with you, the customer service could do with improving. The Hypervolt is a solid choice. This comes as a tethered unit only, but you have the choice of a five, a seven and a half, or a 10 meter tethered cable, and it's available in white, black, or space gray. It integrates with Ovo, and at the minute, they are doing trials with Octopus for the Octopus Intelligence Tariff. This charger has become a real competitor in the market. All chargers now have to abide with the smart regulations. So if you see a cheap charger online for a couple of hundred quid that is advertised as plug and go, no app required, DIY installation, stay away from it. And if you buy one and ask someone to install it, a professional will hopefully absolutely refuse. I also have a wide selection of EV installations that I've carried out myself, and I'll leave links to several of these in the description below. If you look at my short videos, you will see literally hundreds of chargers that I've installed and how I do it. So by having an EV charger installed at your home, hopefully your life will be pretty contempt. With the convenience of never going to a petrol station again and falling into the habit of plugging your car in when you get home, every single day that you wake up, you will have a full charge. If you're looking for a quote for an EV charger, I will leave a link in the description below, or you can check out my website where you see inquiry links and contact information. Please, please, please show some love, subscribe to my channel, and if you found this useful, hit that thumbs up button.